Many survivors of the Lahaina fire have been displaced for 20 days now. KITV4's Jeremy Lee joined Governor Josh Green today as he met with congressional delegation members in Ka'anapali and Lahaina. There are over 6,000 people displaced, according to the governor, by the latest count. Officials touring the burn zone said that they want to turn their attention to long-term solutions when it comes to housing. And that means a focus on non-permanent or transitional housing. That will be the next step, according to the governor. Also, the Army Corps of Engineers working with other agencies to clear the debris from Lahaina Town. It's an effort that the governor pledges will involve hiring local people for the job. Members of Congress from states that have experienced recent natural disasters were on hand to give input in the process of federal and state government providing relief that will have an impact on a local level. It's really dry here and we don't have all the access to water we've needed. We may need support for water and we may need some support from DOD to help us mitigate some of these dry patches and get some fire breaks because tell you the truth, there was a fire two days ago. As far as hazardous material removal, it really depends. As, uh, as quick as we could get in there, as we could get the utility company to depower some of the area, uh, as quick as they can move, and it's safe. Uh, and there's a lot of issues with safety, especially with some of the batteries that uh, are in uh, electric vehicles and those kind of things. People asked, will I not have a house after 30 days? And we want to be really clear that I've signed a 36-week contract, for example, just to start with Red Cross. It gets reimbursed, all these resources that come, a $99 million contract right off the bat to make sure that we have the commitment to people that are wondering, where am I going to be in six weeks, three months, and so on. Dive teams from the U.S. Navy were out in the water, initiating what is the final stage of the recovery effort, searching the water for any of the deceased. Uh, but we do not anticipate the number going much higher now. I asked the governor if there was any lag in information when it came to the recovery effort, the numbers specifically. The governor said no lag, simply that when they searched the multi-unit buildings, it did not yield an increase in the death toll that was expected. Reporting from Lahaina, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News.